guys and welcome to another FPV Guy video. As you know, I'm at CES 2017 this week and I'm at the Unic booth right now and of course I had to go look at the new Typhoon 520. That's an H520H of course for Hexa as it's six motors. And there's a lot of differences, they're subtle, but it's definitely a different design and they're aiming it at the industrial market. And you can kind of see if I grab the flyer here, it comes in a big yellow case, so it's much more utilitarian. Unlike the backpack style, it does still fit in the backpack. And what you see up here is we've got the larger propellers, we've got larger motors, and the arms here, if you compare them side by side, is definitely beefier. So the arms have gotten bigger. The snap on, the quick release up here on the top is still exactly the same. And when you turn it around, you will see that we still have the real sense sensor. We also have the ultrasound, optical avoidance, so, and the real sense, like they did before on the H. And down the bottom here, we have the drift camera and the ultrasound altitude management so that you can fly even if you don't have GPS at certain heights. You cannot fly very high with that system. Now, we've, they got bigger, beefier, squishier feet on them. And down here, we have three camera options now. You can have the thermal and visible light camera. You can also have the regular CG03 Plus camera, which is what we're looking at here. And then they have made a CG CI camera, which has a longer focal length and a significantly better lens for more cinematic quality images. This entire kit in the travel case and everything is going to be retailing probably around $3,000 as they're looking at a more industrial market coming with a full support and back care backup option also. So that is now the new Typhoon Unic H. But it is bigger also. I put the Typhoon Unic H and the older H on top and I find that when the motor's on top there's about this much difference in size. So this one is actually bigger also. Now I was gonna yank the battery out but there's nothing in it. This is actually right now still an empty shell and they say this is gonna be available end of quarter one beginning of second quarter 2017. So this is something to look forward to an industrial unic age. Stay tuned for more videos and also make sure to click on the subscribe button down in the corner. We've got more CES 2017 videos coming right here on fpvguy.com.